In this month's episode of In Conclusion, DME reviewed the bus service update as of 17 December 2023. Many things happened on Sunday, but let's focus more on the Thomson East Coast Line Rationalization Phase 1. Let's begin with the bus services in the northern part of Singapore. In Woodlands, the LTA and SMRT buses extend service 900 into Woodlands South. Residents in Woodgrove now have a chance to onboard service 900 into Woodlands South MRT. The bus service is now a hospital service as the route passes by Woodlands Health Campus. Residents in Champions Way will now have a full day bus service since the withdrawal of service 900A. Did you know that the admin was the one who suggested to the LTA on the extended version of service 900? For those who want to know more about how to go to Woodlands South MRT, watch the following clip. For those who want to go to Woodlands South MRT, from service 900, go down and block 5 e Woodgrove Secondary School. From then, you will walk all the way there. Let me zoom in a bit. If you guys see the lighting there, over there, that's the Woodlands of Thompson East Coast Line. So, a bit of fun fact. In mid 2019, I was the one who suggested the RTA to make this bus route possible for service 900 to. Woodland South Campus and Woodland South Thomas East Coast Line. At first, they were a bit sceptical, have some like rough, a bit of the rough comment saying that maybe this will not going to happen. But then, after some time for me to pull to them, so they say they approve, but it takes for around like three to four years time. And now it's 2023, December, 70 December, and finally, the reality has come to. Meanwhile, in Sembawang. Residents will now have a direct bus service to Sabah Shopping Centre and Chompang. Service aid financiers Bukit Canberra and so-called a full-day bus service into Chompang apart from service AA3M. Although there is still service 167, service aid finance will be a supplement bus service for residents headed into said landmarks. In the central area of Singapore, service 162 now operates on Sunday. The amended bus will enter Singming and Shufu Estate which is a negative result for both bus captains and commuters. As the bus route needs to pass by Upper Thompson twice before entering Singming Estate, some bus captains were confused about the new amended route. Not only that, residents of Shufu Estates were curious about Service 162's new assistance in the neighbourhood. Unlike Service 410, Service 162 does not pass by Marymount MRT on the return trip. Meanwhile, Workers in Singming are finally to have a direct bus service into Shufu Estate as a lunchtime bus service. Into the greater southern of Singapore, Service 121 enters into the CBD area. Today, Service 121 debuts a red and white plate as the bus will cross bus stop opposite MES building twice. While Service 121 will Service 35, residents in Kim Tian Road will now have a direct bus service to the CBD. However, the bus route does not travel beyond the CBD up to Raffles Place. Meanwhile, in Bukit Merah, Service 35 now travels to Tiong Bahru Road, Kim Tian Road, and Jana Bukit Merah. Although the double deck clearance is possible, there are no changes to the bus fleet or Service 75. Again, on Kim Tian Road, there is a direct bus service to Great World City and Tangi Shopping Centre thanks to Service 75. And nope, this bus doesn't stop at Tiong Bahru Plaza. And now, the superstar behind the Thompson East Coast Line Rationalization, Service 167. Unfortunately, the wait time for Service 167 is more than half an hour as bus captains will depart the bus interchange 5 minutes after its scheduled time. The reason is to make the run time tighter and allows bus captains to drive at high speed to avoid slowing down along the way. The demand in the early morning attracts around 20 commuters between Sembawang and the city centre. As there isn't any double there on this service, the main fleet of Service 167 is Man 822. Currently, Service 167 is an OTA bus service as regulated by the Singapore law. There are many improvements and more room to improve on the group amendments such as Services 162 and 980. And that's the end of Thompson East Coast Rationalization Phase 1. By end of 2025, the Thomson East Coast Rationalization Phase 2 will commence in the East Coast District. Doesn't really get affected by the Thompson East Coast Line Rationalization Phase 1? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and do leave a like 
comment, share and subscribe.